it's Sam. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. For today's look, as you guys can see, I did a really, like, out there holiday makeup look. I think it's very festive and very fun. If you are uh, wanting to do quite, kind of more like a statement makeup look um, and just wear a simple, like, outfit, I think it will look so good. Um, I did give you two options. I did this red lip right here as well as a more nude shade. Before we get started, please don't forget to subscribe in the little button down there. And if you want to know how I got this makeup look right here, then just keep on watching. Okay, so before we get started, I do want to mention I am filming on a new camera. I actually changed cameras. This is the Canon G7X. And unfortunately, it doesn't connect to my computer as a monitor, so I can't see when it stops recording or anything. So I need to um, see like the viewfinder. I'm trying to get like used to having a viewfinder because on my other one, um, I had the Canon uh, 3Ti and I love that camera and it was just like um, the viewfinder I would put it in the back and I would connect it to my computer and use the computer as a monitor but now this one doesn't do that so I just need to get used to looking at the camera instead of the viewfinder um, and I'm actually also going to be vlogging and I'm so excited I'm excited for the content that I'm, I'm going to be bringing into my like channel so I hope you guys stick around today's look I am going to do a s extreme like holiday transformation um, I don't think I've ever done like this kind of makeup look so I'm kind of excited I already have my eyelids primed so I used my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer to prime my eyelids and I'm going to be actually setting that I, I have been going on and off of like setting my actual like primed eyelids. To set my eyelids I'm going to be using my Shane Dawson, mini, Shane Dawson mini controversy palette with uh, Jeffree Star and I'm going to be using the uh, shade Cry on, my, uh, Cry on My Couch which is this one right here. It's just kind of like a vanilla shade. Um, I've actually been loving this shade. It's just like perfect for my um, like skin tone and I mean Jeffree Star Cosmetics eyeshadows are super buttery and just like the like perfect perfect eyeshadow to blend um i did film a kind of like review and uh tutorial with my conspiracy palette i'm going to be linking it up here or this side i'm not sure when i put on the footage on the video which shed is it going to be at so i've been doing my face lately and um first and then my eye makeup but for today's look i didn't want to risk it because i'm going to be using like more like reddish um eyeshadow so I didn't want to risk any like fallout and then messing up my um my foundation so for today I'm going to be using my main squeeze um eyeshadow palette by Colourpop first I'm going to be taking this one right here which is called Fo um, Home Slice and Frosé you know what I actually just realized that the yeah, the actual, like, names of the shadows here are, like, backwards in the actual packaging. Like, this is should be on this side. I just realized that. Um, it's, like, my second or third time using this palette. So, I'm going to be using the shade Froze, Froze. I think that's how you pronounce it, which is this one right here. And I'm going to be applying that on, you guys already know, M506. And I'm just going to be applying that on my crease. And just taking my time with blending this and kind of taking it upward towards my brow bone. The reason I wanted to upgrade was because I wanted to bring obviously more content. And I, I love watching vlogs and like like Shanek So vlogs. I've been like on a kick with watching her vlogs. I just, I don't know, I love that side of it, of like YouTube. So I'm going to be grabbing this shade which is called Like It's Hot. And I'm going to be putting that on, like, my crease right here. And... It does... This eyeshadow right here looks a little bit patchy. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. The first one that I placed there. And I'm kind of like, instead of dragging the color, I'm kind of like tapping the color and just putting that eyeshadow there. And the thing is, this looks a little bit more pinkish than red. So from the Jawbreaker palette from Jeffree, I'm going to be taking the shade uh, Licorice, which is this one right here. 
and it's more of a true red which is like what i was looking for morphe um e18 and there we go yeah and putting that on my crease Now I'm going to take again the Frosé shade, which is this kind of like light reddish color. And I'm going to be blending that red shade up here on my brow bone. I want to see kind of like a gradient more up here because we're going to be cutting our crease. I'm going to be grabbing a deeper shade. I'm going to grab the shade Red Bottoms, which is this one right here. And I'm going to be grabbing that and placing it on my crease. Just like this. And we're going to be blending that in a second. I'm going to go in with that 506 that we were using at the beginning and blending. From there, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to be cutting my crease. And I'm actually not going to do a half crease. I'm actually going to go all the way uh, to the end of my um, eye. I always use the same brush to cut my crease and it just works perfectly for me. I feel like it's a, like I feel like it's a perfect brush to cut your crease. This is a Morphe M421. So I packed the brush and as you can see, it gets really, really thin. And I'm going to cut it really high up. Okay, so I went off camera and kind of like wiped that down. I'm going to go and do this eye off camera and I'll be right back. I don't know what's up with that, like with these shadows. They're a little bit patchy and I, ha I was having a little bit of trouble blending right here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but we got to move on. Um, it's going to look good at the end with like my whole face and everything, but I don't know. I just, I was really frustrated just because I was trying to uh, blend up here and this is like a nice transition and then right here... It's just like, I was not, I don't know, it was not blending. For my lid, I'm going to be actually taking a pigment. And this is a Peaches and Makeup pigment in the shade, or pigment, um, Bollywood. And it's just a really nice gold shade. I'm going to be taking my Too Faced Glitter Glue, and I'm going to be applying that to my eyelids. So now I'm actually going to be grabbing another pigment, but I'm going to make it kind of like an eyeliner. And I'm going to do it right here so that we can separate the eyeshadow from the actual like gold pigment. This is a Peaches Makeup pigment again, but this is in the shade Phoenix. Now that I have my eyes all glittered up because it's Christmas and it is okay for you to wear a lot of glitter on your eyelids, uh, I'm going to go and do my face off camera just because this took me so long. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and do my face off camera. I'm going to put some lashes and I'll be right back. I've been loving Shanexo's vlogs. Like, ugh, I love her so much. Okay, so I'm going to go and work on my lower lash line. And I have the uh, ColourPop Shadow, the Main Squeeze eyeshadow palette. Um, and I'm going to be using the same, this brush. So I'm going to take the color Frosé, which is the first one that we use kind of as a transition. And putting that on my lower lash line. Just a little bit so that we can tie kind of like the look together. I don't want a lot going on under my, like on my lower lash line. And then I am going to put another pigment on my inner corner. And this is the shade Gatsby. Or the pigment Gatsby. Um, and I'm going to be applying a little bit of 
that Too Faced glitter glue and this is one of my favorite favorite um, pigments from Peaches Makeup as you guys it's like a perfect like gold please excuse my nails but yeah it's like the perfect gold and oh it makes such a pretty inner corner highlight and then I did apply a little bit of this um, NYX Wonder Pencil in the shade light I believe yeah light on my waterline just so that I could open a little bit more my eyes and I'm gonna take my morphe um, continuous setting spray and set my face oh yeah so for today's lip I'm gonna be grabbing my Fenty Beauty unbutton uh, lip paint which I'm dying to pick up the red one it looks like the perfect red And then if you want to, let's see how a red lip would look, which I think it would look really, really nice. So now I'm going to take a red lipstick. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte in the shade Lady Balls. Uh, I'm not sure if they still have this. I don't think they have this shade available, but any red will do. I just want to show you kind of like how a red would look with this eye look. This is how a red lip would look. I think I really like, I actually really like both of how they look. I just feel like this red really ties the whole like I look together because of the red. So that is it for this makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe and the little button down there. As always, all of the products that I use in this video are going to be linked down in the description box. As well as all of my social media. And until then, I'll see you guys on my next video. Bye.